Oh, well, thank you. I'm just gonna, you know, you're a great guy. I'm gonna help. What's this enough? I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I've got an announcement to make, okay? Uh, Why, well, thank you. I am single. Single and ready to mingle. I'm 30 and flirty, baby. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my my girlfriend couldn't handle the rock and roll lifestyle, steamboat comedy, so I had to let her go. Can I get my is that can I get the steamboat comedy logo? Yes. There it is. Hey, who's getting all the attention? Anyways. Bears. <laughs> yeah. Shooting goddamn bears. Keep the moose alive. Well, the moose is gonna kill itself. It's smoking a cigarette, so you don't gotta shoot them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm single, and uh, I gotta say, so far, uh, it's been terrible. <laughs> I hate it. I'm gonna call my ex right after I get off the stage and ask her to take me back. I just don't. I don't like putting myself out there to get judged. You know what I mean? Which I know you might be thinking, Kyle, you're doing stand-up comedy right now. Which is quite literally putting yourself out there to get judged. But I have a, I have a secret, I have a technique, so I'm comfortable. I just imagine that everyone in the audience is a dude. It's great, where are my dudes at? Dudes, 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 dudes. See, dudes are great, because dudes are easy to impress. You know, it's easy to get along with dudes. You know what I mean? Like, girls, you know, if if a dude doesn't like me, I was just like, whatever, bro. I got no friends, bro. But a girl, I mean, like, if a dude doesn't like me, I'm not gonna go buy a gym membership. You know what I mean? If a dude doesn't like me, I'm not gonna go spend 80 bucks on some bullshit shampoo that's supposed to grow back my hair that doesn't work. <laughs> you know? it's stressful, man. So yeah, speaking of the gym, I've been trying to go to the gym. Try to stay in shape. Uh, and I go to Old Town Hot Springs. Everybody like Old Town Hot Springs? Woo! Yeah, everybody. Yeah, if you guys, if you see me there, uh, don't talk to me. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's nothing personal. I just, I'm like, I'm in the zone, dude. I don't like talking to people. <laughs> um, <laughs> but really, though, I mean, I just, I, I won't make eye contact with everyone. I'll just stare at the ceiling, and I'll just pretend I didn't see you, even if I recognize you, which is fine. But the problem is, if I see you outside of the gym, I have to, like, double down on the lie, like I haven't seen you in forever. You know what I mean? I bump into some guy, like, oh, Hey Gary, uh, how you doing? Long time no see. Um, wife still got that thing on her neck? <laughs> but she's polite, but in the back of his mind, he's like, you see me three times a week. You know goddamn well she still has that thing on her neck. <laughs> but he's just like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's going great, it's good. <laughs> uh, but there's one type of person you can't ignore in the gym. And that type of person is a butt girl. Okay, let me explain what a butt girl is. A butt girl is a girl who goes to the gym, straps on her spandex, and spends the whole time trying to find new and creative ways just to work out her butt. That's all they do. Which, first of all, it's a double standard, because if a guy goes to the gym and all he does is work out his arms, he's a douchebag, right? The boy just skip leg day, bro. <laughs> right? No one goes up with a butt girl and is like, what do we do those squats for? Why do you skip arm day, bro? <laughs> Sexism is real, you guys. <laughs> but the butt girl, I saw this one the other day, man. She was going at it. She's on like the leg press thing and she's doing the up, but then she is rotating to get all the angles and going around. Where's it out? It's like, who's going to break that thing? <laughs> I was gonna break first the machine or your ass. I don't know. <laughs> it's unreal. And like me, I try to ignore one. The butt girl loves an audience. The butt girl goes right into the middle where everybody's at. And she's on some thing, she's stretching it out, getting it out there, you know? <sighs> and I've got my head up like 
this, but the butt girl, you know, she's sitting here with her spandex butt, and you might be thinking, this sounds like a trap. <laughs> it is. It is a trap. <laughs> the butt girl, this trap is part of a mating ritual, okay? <laughs> I've seen enough Planet Earth to know a mating ritual when I see one, right? Because she's, she's out there stretching it out, and the whole time she's looking around. <laughs> Cause she wants to see who's looking. But there's only two houses in this Hogwarts, okay? You're in... You're either in house... Ew, you creep! Quit looking at me! Oh my god! Or you're in house... Hey. I like my butt. At least, you know, I assume there's a second look. Um, Single is stressful, you guys. I hate it already. I got I got friends who are like really into it. A buddy of mine, he's all about going to the bars and trying to pick up chicks. And he's like, man, it's so great. It's a thrill. It's like the thrill of the hunt. You know, I'm like a lion. The lion trying to stalk its prey. I'm like, okay, first of all, kind of rapey. Okay? <laughs> The gazelle doesn't exactly consent to the lion, you know what I mean? That's a one-way transaction. And two, I mean, I got, I got no idea how to hunt you guys. I, I met my last girlfriend at an isolated resort in Montana. You know, and you don't gotta be a, the hunter lion if you're in a small, secluded, fenced-in Serengeti. You just, you just gotta wait around for the gazelle to get bored. Wait for him to trip up, you know? Three, my age, all the single women, man, these gazelle, they're either already mounted on the wall of some apex predator, you know what I mean? <laughs> or, they're limping around the bars, with big bite marks on them, and chunks missing from years of battle with the whole pride of Steamboat. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh. Look at how beat to death, you know, like how I just beat that analogy to death. <laughs> yeah, talking to people in bars is stressful, but luckily these days in the dating scene, you don't actually have to talk to people in person. You can use a thing called Tinder, right? <laughs> you swipe right and left, you don't even have to talk to a person or think about them. But uh, I, I tried getting on the Tinder and I'm so out of the dating game, man. I, I didn't realize how obsessed everyone is with how tall you are. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Every single profile, it's like, here's my six pictures, six two, and then everything else. So I decided, I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fake it and see if I can get through this. So I matched with a girl on Tinder, and we're gonna meet at a bar. I get to the bar first, though, and I see her walk in, and she's coming across the room. And uh, of course, because it's Steamboat, she's this giant Amazonian woman, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and she's walking around, okay, and she finally sees me, and is like, oh. <laughs> and right away, she's like, your profile says that you're six foot five. <laughs> and I was like, six five, that's, Oh, I'm dyslexic, sorry. <laughs> Gonna buy you a drink. <laughs> Cheers. 